can get this one. It's the one round the other side I'm not so confident about. And then I think it was 94 stone I worked out to finish one of these off. You guys are logged, logged. Are you logged? You're not logged. You're logged. Can I reach it? Oh, I can reach it from here. It's okay. Yeah, I've reduced my woodcutters at a time when I probably need them back. Right, we're definitely done. So I need 80, 94 stone. I'll go and put these other bits away. In the dark. I have no torch at the moment. Uh, let's see. Just because it's too heavy to carry that and stone around at the same time. I do have a lot more stone as well back in the other resource thing. It's just dumped on the floor. But then I can get I can get all the stone I ever want out of this mine right here, can't I? Give me a torch. I'm going to try and finish this building before I go and get a drink. I mean, there's a stream just down there, which is quite handy. Did I check the villagers there for excavators? Probably did. Right, let's get building. We're still going to try the King's Quest today. When it gets to spring, we're going to go and see what that's all about. So now I've got the mine up. It's it's kind of nice, but disappointing that it's not um, iron tools flowing already. We will definitely have to work on production. Maybe that should be the next big grind. I will have some stuff I can grind out. I could definitely do some uh, some sewing. You know what, I was going to do that, wasn't I? Let me go into management. I was going to change over the... It's not an extraction. In production, sewing hut number two. Yeah, turn the... In fact, take the wool off altogether. Probably don't need two sewing huts now that I'm going to do this. I'll drop it down to 20% because they will get some wool thread. No, not simple bags. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. And go to linen thread for all the rest. They should produce quite a bit of linen, I think. The the simple bags are just purely for producing things to farm with. And we can get cracking on at that. This This should actually level up quite nicely. Because the other one leveled up really well in there as a crafter. In fact, if I have a look at my best crafting people, there's Radovit, the craftsman. What's he working as? He's in the workshop. Now, if I wonder, if I shove them over to the kitchen, if I wanted to, like, really power through the food, nah, it doesn't matter. I don't worry about it. Just save him before... Yeah, I'll save before... Why is the King's Quest... Can it be something, like, really horrible... You get something that's really nasty that you don't want. So if we get a really bad one, we'll just reload it back in and say, yeah, I don't think we'll do that. Or can it? Can you get a quest where you are required to collect, say, material, for example, iron or iron tools, that you are unable to actually deliver at your present time? Hunt 10 bears, that would be bad. Like... 60 iron and 150 wood and 150 stone. Ooh, okay. Well, the wooden stone is obviously not a problem, but the iron would um, screw me over. Right. Okay, that that would be bad if I if I got a, an iron quest. That would be bad. Construction completed. Do I want to mess around doing any more of these? I'm not going to bother for now. Do I want to go mining? I might go mining. I might go and get some more materials. And then uh, we've got tools available. 
There's no point me getting the iron, though. I'll just go... Yeah, I'll, I'm just going to go and get the bronze. Um, well, copper and tin. Drink? Yes, thanks. Okay, I should go and get a drink. Well reminded. It's not a bad place up here, apart from the bear just down the road. So on the way back, I will find a sheep and we'll buy some more sheep for the for the farm and we'll probably set up another sheep fold and then try and get that going as well if I put that in there does it only appear in other mines or is it accessible from the main storage thanks for the hydrate by the way Ellen Brook. and snooze nice to see you how's it going I'm guessing War Thunder must have done something wrong for you to be free at this time of day. I'll take this tin. Yeah, we're playing uh, medieval Minecraft here. Probably the best way to describe it. Oh, so you only find it in that mine? Uh, okay. It's a shame. I, I would love to see that if, like, if you put something in a storage there, it was available in the general one. That would make so much sense. Been eyeing up this game for some time. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, more than I ever thought I would. So it's like one of those really chill games that you can just take your time over. There's no, there's not usually any great desperate rush. And it's, yeah, it's just nice. I feel like building stuff. There's a few quests in it which are bad, to be honest. They're just like fetch quests. But uh, the actual gameplay, setting out your own village... The challenge of going to different parts of the map and maybe settling there. Stuff, doing things. It's really good. And it's really chilled out as well. Until you get a bear chasing you, then, then it's a different matter. This mine, I, it feels like it's increased the amount of uh, nodes available, as well as you know, just in the opening bit, never mind in the in the depths. The depths of the mine. There's a little bit of combat with bandits. There are some random bandits on the roads, although I haven't seen any for a long time. So I don't know what's happened to them. And the hunting as well. The hunting can be quite dangerous. Well, only if you go after bear and, and bison. And the boar can be a little bit nasty. But uh, the deer and stuff is... Uh, they're, they're quite harmless. There's no wheelbarrow as far as I know. I wish there was. That would be super useful for this. Hang on a sec. Hang on. I'm just going to chuck a load of stone on the floor because I'm a little bit weighed down. By that. Yeah, by all that. I'm going to come back for that though because I do have a use for stone at the moment. The only thing I really think the game's lacking is linked storages between some of the buildings. Like, this is a mine, so I should be able to put ore in there, and that should be linked to the smithy. But it's not. It's not linked to anything other than other mines, which means transporting stuff back can be a pain. But luckily, the big storage buildings, general storage buildings, are linked. So I can throw it in there, and it's absolutely fine. And I'm going to be quite honest... I can't be bothered mining. I have done my fair share of mining in this game. So until we can do iron, I'm going to set my NPCs to uh, to collect the rest of that stuff for us. And I'm going to go and do something more interesting. So we'll change this, get the iron ore off because it's not currently usable. And we'll go 50% copper, 50% tin. Bison are nasty in this. I, I don't know. I don't know if a patch has made them more dangerous. I found them easier to kill earlier on in the game. I'm getting my ass handed to me now. All right, so we're going to be we're going to be all right for bronze actually. This is going to produce a lot of bronze. More than the smiths are going to be able to keep up with. I might drop that down and put some stone on as well in that case because it'll save me having to come back and collect the damn stuff, won't it? Let's have a go at that. That's going to get me 30 stone a day. Oh, hang on. Let's, let's reduce the copper. Because copper and tin, you need one-to-one, -one, don't you? So I don't need anything else. Let's do it like that. 
Uh, that's better. Okay. We'll manage it like that for now. Bit sad that the wolves are so easy. Actually, I just run away from the um, the wolves. <laughs> I just wave a torch at them. First person management game. Yeah, it, it starts off as a survival game and definitely turns into a management game as you uh, as you go through it. I'll just see if I've got the limestone available to insulate that house before I move on from this, this location. Do we have any in? Not enough, so I'll do that another time. Having said that, the game's getting third person view as well in possibly the next update. So, uh, yeah, it will be from a third person management game as well. Let's check this place. This is where we get the sheep from, I think. So in an effort to get my industry ground up, we're going to go into sheep farming <laughs> in a big way. A year ago, the wolf house scared, scared the crap out here. The things that scare me the most are the bears. I've had the biggest fright in this game from a bear. When I was tr busy trying to build a fence between me and, and a bear so I could hunt it in, a, in an immunity... And suddenly, and it was in the dark, and suddenly you heard this in one ear, and I absolutely shat my pants. It was terrifying. Who have we got here? Staff. Extractor. We've got one extractor. Yep, you're hired. Hello there. See you there. She can go in the new, new house, in fact. Unless we've got gaps in the old one. I don't know. Uh, empty slot. This is the new one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the only one with space at the moment, so. And she can go straight to work in the salt mines. Or oh, the excavation shed. I'm going to start to need clay out of there, aren't I? I feel like the mine's doing okay. I need to, I need to really ramp up the production side of things. So, yeah, let's go into the excavation shed for now. Even though that's at the opposite side of the, the world, but never mind. Anyone else want a job? A crafter. Uh, I don't have any crafting buildings free. Where's that sheep farm at? Is that it? That's not it, is it? Or is it? What's this? It is, right. Oh, look at them all lined up in a row. We need... We need cheap female lambs. Right, buy two of those. Um, that didn't work. In the fold, yep. I better have one more, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend big on this. We're going to get the... The sheep industry going. Big time. Right, that's all my money spent, I think. I'd probably better focus on making some damn cash back for winter and the evil taxes come round again. So I'll do one last recruiting run down there. And then uh, we'll go back and craft some shit, I suppose. Uh, that's what we're going to have to do. It's going to take a while as well. The amount of grinding there is. Alright, catch you later, Spartan. Thanks for hanging out today. But yeah, Snooze, I'd definitely recommend this. It's, it's been a lot of fun. It is uh, it is finished, technically, but it is also a work in progress where they're, they're adding more to it as they go along. So, um, But I don't feel like I've come across anything that feels broken or that drastically needs changing. They could maybe adjust some of the XP rates for the, for the grinding certain certain things, but uh, overall it's fine. There's a camp here. It's full of bison. Do I want to get off and explore? Can I see anything? There's an axe there. Right, okay, I'm going to chance this. This goes wrong. I'm jumping on that horse and running bronze axe. That was worth picking up. And a mead bottle. Alright, let's check this. Shoes. 
We'll sell all this when we get back to uh, the next town. Wooden bolts. I don't know what these wooden deer figurines are for. Strange deer figurine found in mud. Who might have created it? I've got several of those, but I've no idea. I'm just going to take and sell most of this stuff. You getting this? Hope you enjoy it. One of the cool things is just going and seeing other streamers um, and seeing how they've built their village compared to yours. Like, I go and watch it. There's a few people I watch. <laughs> and everyone else's village looks so much nicer than mine. Mine looks like a, a right dump that no one's put any thought and attention into building. And yeah, I did. I promise I did. Oh, hang on. That's nice. An iron knife. That was worth it. Right. That, I'm leaving now before... Uh, those bison get a bit twitchy. The deer figurine of Sambor's side quest. Does he is does he have any more? He's not offered me anything. Because I picked them up ages ago, but uh, unless I'm supposed to go back and, and see him again, but I've had nothing to take me back there. Did he ask me to do that already? Because I've found several of those figurines now. Unless it just gives you several places to collect them from. I don't remember that being a, a thing, but... I mean, it was a long time ago, so maybe it was. Mine was built up organically, or rustic, or British, as it's also known. Planning? What planning? We haven't had planning in this country for 600 years and we're damn well not going to start now. Not since the Romans left. And look what happened to them. Right, give me a vendor. You'll do. How can I help you? Whatever you need, I've got it. Let's see, beer bottle. What else can we sell? Mead bottle. pair of shoes is that a, that's not the one I'm using is it a simple backpack no I can sell that one then uh, the wooden bolts I'll keep the deer figurine and sell those wooden ladles goodbye oh, yeah I need to craft and sell a lot of stuff they're the two trees I really feel like I need to grind up and improve no oh, hang on there's somebody here let's see Nah, the rubbish really. Not what I need in my village. You love city management type games? Foundation, I don't think I've played. Dawn of Man was excellent. That's still one of my favourite building games of all time. I'm not generally massively into building games, but Dawn of Man, that really did it for me. It was probably the setting, like the, the prehistoric setting. I don't think I've, I've played many games with that sort of era and feel. And it was, that was another, another good chill game as well. Yeah, really enjoyed that. Yeah, well, I probably probably won't be able to do the Sambor quest now. Hang on, do I not class as having a bath? Let me just get off my horse a minute. And just fix that state. There we go. Right then, let's see. I dare say I'll be running back here with stuff to sell. It is tempting, actually, to build. I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm going to build a, a resource building right outside this place. Oh, she's got extraction as well. Where are all the men with extraction? Because men don't get pregnant, and it's a huge advantage in the, in the workforce. Oh, well, you're recruited. How is life treating you? Go to my village. I'll see you there. Here's the keys to my room. Don't tell the wife. What else did I come here for? Was that it? I think it was just to recruit, wasn't it? I think. I won't take the side quests. Is there any other job I was going to do there, folks? I can't remember. I'm going to go and get another resource extraction hut built. Uh, we'll put her in a house for now. One of these simple ones. One of the temporary accommodation blocks for uh, migrant workers. There's nothing else I wanted to do here, was there? No, let's get this um, 
this resource extraction place built right outside here. Sorry, resource storage. Did you play Banished then, Snooze? That was kind of on a similar theme to Dawn of Man and everything. Another one of those management games. I never got into that one myself. What happens if I fell these trees into that place? Anything? Wouldn't they be classed as stealing? I don't think they're, I don't think they're owned based on uh, where they are. I'm still disappointed that you can't kill people by felling trees on them, personally, in this. I think that would be fun. Oh, we've got to get the sheepfold, the extra sheepfold built as well. That's another one of my projects to start. Never played Banished? Yeah, I, I think uh, Pointy Haired Jedi played quite a bit of that. I think that's where I first saw it. But um, I was always looking out for it in a Steam sale. I don't think I ever ever got round to trying it. Having said that, I've got this faint memory of starting it and then not getting into it, so maybe I'm wrong. Right, two points. What shall I have on this now? A treasure Hunter. No. A force of Nature. The Miner's Trance. Ugh, I don't want to do more mining if I can help it. The Woodcutter's Trance. The Excavation there's nothing fun here. <laughs> There's nothing fun. Slower durability loss of pickaxes and shovels. That's all I can think of. Force of nature is durability loss of axes. Hmm. I don't know. The careful miner, you get additional resources from deposits, but I don't want to do the mining myself. You would have killed yourself a thousand times if you could kill people with trees. Yeah, Valheim springs to mind. The excavation. The woodcutter's trance. It's just faster tree cutting. I do tend to do a bit of that. Or the miner's trance. Oh, I don't know. You've been on a farming sim binge? Farming simulator feels a bit too sensible for me. I want to be able to run over my neighbor's crops with a muck spreader and stuff. It doesn't let you do things like that. Or at least the one I played didn't. It would be great in multiplayer if you could do that. I don't know what to pick. Slower durability loss of axes. The, the, picks, the bronze picks last for ages anyway. Stamina is not a problem. But speedier anything... Uh, it would be nice. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna go for this. I don't want to do any more mining, but... Uh, will I be clearing trees either? I might be clearing trees. I'll maybe do the woodcutter stance. Go on, let's, let's increase the level in that. Where do we get to anyway? Let's, let's put this building up if we can. Storage. Um... Resource storage one. How close can we be to this place? This area is occupied. There we go. I don't care about the bushes. It's going there. What do we need? Just logs, that'd be nice. Logs and straw, probably. And sticks. Like the other game of Banish, but it bogged down for you if you've got a few dozen people to manage. Uh, hmm, I think the first... I'm trying to think of going back, which... What sort of... Oh, God, have I lost my tools and everything? Crap. I don't have a spare hammer, do I? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I remember playing The Settlers on the Amiga, and that was fantastic. It had a wonderful soundtrack. That was a proper chilled-out game. You could just quite happily watch your little people going about their daily business. It was so good. So, so good. But uh, I never played any of the other Settlers games, so Settlers 2 or, or any of the multitude of ones since then, I've never tried. I think I'm going to dig these trees out, because they're kind of in my way.
Like settlers, you love foundation. I'm going to have to have a look at this foundation. I mean, once you've got your realm sort of set up, you could just quite happily in settlers just, just sit there watching the farmers, you know, growing wheat and feeding pigs. And a little miller sticking his head out the window of his mill as he saw a little cloud of flour in the background. Or was that the baker? I don't know. It was just, it was just so good. So foundation's very similar to settlers then. Cool. I'll have to check that out. Not that I need any more games to take my time up just at the moment, but... Did I miss one? Yeah. Sticks, get out of the way. I can't see. Let's see how close this is to, uh, to finishing some walls off because I'll go and get more logs if I need them. Actually, with this here, I can instantly then just turn around and start selling things, which will be quite nice. Put a few logs into the roof. Yeah, two-player split-screen settlers. That used to be good fun. Are we logged? We're mostly logged. Sticks, then. I need some sticks and about 64 straw, I think. Eight. Yeah, lots of straw. Probably not that much. Probably 32, but... We'll just go and harvest everything that we can find. There's a good supply of straw just down here, thankfully. This iron hammer, look at the size of this thing. That looks a bit more impressive than the wooden mallets I was using to start with. The one thing I, I will say about this game that... Uh, I don't know. It's something to do with maybe some balance or maybe it's just the way I've played it. But I've ground down some of the trees, like the farming tree I've gone down, and you get new recipes as you unlock buildings, and the new building will give you access to new recipes to buy, to build new tools or implements or whatever. Farming one's been incredibly easy to go down. I've flown down there. The building one itself has been really slow, and I felt like I've had to grind that out steadily. How are we doing for this stuff? I'll get 64. I think it's 32 I want, but I'm, I'll take some extra just in case. Um, and the production one has been really slow as well. And grinding out cooking and, well, cooking in particular, that is a slow one to move. And then we can now, I've built a mine so I can get my NPCs harvesting iron, which I think, great, I'll make iron tools. Nope, can't make iron tools until I've got the smithy level three which is a long way down the production tree for me yet. Basically, I'm about a third of the way down towards it. So the 50, 60 hours, no, hang on, probably about 70 hours I've put into the game so far. Well, I don't think it'll be three times that because I probably haven't been making the right stuff, but it's a long way to go still. I do have some an excessive amount of farming, I must admit, yeah. But that really helped the industry build build up fast. And it made us rich as well. Although, interestingly, selling all that stuff and clearing out all the vendors of coin on the map is not levelling our diplomacy skill up very fast. Like in Celasta right now, with a barbarian in the party. Oh, did that come as a free DLC or was that one of the was that a paid expansion? I see it's got an expansion out for about $7.99 that adds a couple of classes. But that will give you some different conversation choices, uh, I'm guessing. Sticks, 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 logs, 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 sticks. I'm nearly there with this. As long as my axe doesn't break down. Yeah, Celasta, Crown of the Magister. It's a D&D &D game. I, uh, I streamed it, oh, I don't know, before I started the run through of this. It's quite good. It's like a turn-based thing, like um, 
Divinity Original Sin games or like Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, it's it was a low budget game because it was made by a like a small studio, so or so I gather. I never really pay much attention to who's made games or what the state of their you know, development situation is. I just base it on the quality of the game. Uh, but it was really good. A bit of questionable voice acting in it, but other than that, the game itself was really good fun. Obviously, it was a, that was the Bahrain was part of the extra pack. Yeah, they're adding more classes into the game now, which. I don't think it's going to add any extra story content, but it'll it'll probably change how some of the encounters play out. And it's you know a good way of playing through the game again and getting a slightly different experience. The janky voice acting and awkward conversations and cutscenes that was really the only downside to it, as, as I recall. And something that can be fixed, actually, with, with patches. And if they wanted to get someone to do the voiceovers, 